morning. Our numbers are getting smaller. We still have a few people I know that are still planning on leaving. I talked to one this morning. How many people are still headed north? Oh, still quite a few. But you guys are smart. You're waiting until it warmed up. Yes, way to go. Well, of course, we wish you all safe travels and a wonderful summer, and we look forward to your return in the fall. I just wanted to talk a minute about the talent that we have here in Tanglewood. As we know, our residents are talented in so many different areas, but how great is it that we have an activities director that is extremely talented? I was out of town this weekend, so I did not get a chance to hear her sing, but um, how many people were at the Great American Musical? And I heard it was absolutely fabulous. Not just Billy, but everybody who was in it. But I'm just so proud that she does that on her own time. And because she loves it and she wants to. She, you know, so I'm just, I thank you, Billy, very much. When you head north, please remember to check in with the office to change your address if needed. How many people have seen the new chairs on the veranda? Do you like them? Nice upgrade, I thought, and it was nice that we were able to reuse the other chairs around several places in the property, and the rest will be going to one of our sister properties, um, Del Toro, down in Fort Myers, so I'm glad we're able to do that. And with all that said, I will be in the community room until coffee's over if you need me, of course, in the office every day except for Wednesday, and um, Gary's got a few things he wants to talk to you about this morning. Everybody have a great week. Good morning, Tanglewood. I got a couple of things this morning, nothing major, but just uh, mostly information. Uh, one, some three weeks or four weeks ago, I stood here on this podium and I told you that the fountain on, uh, next to Schumacher Road will be up and running in about two weeks. Well, today I'm standing in front of you to apologize. I did not lie to you, but we run into some uh, unexpected trouble. Uh, as I had said, the very next day we uh, got the pump installed, but we have not been able to have any water come out of it yet. Uh, we've exhausted our talent on it, and we just can't get it. So I've called for outside help, and it has not arrived yet. But anyway, I need professional help to get it back prime, uh, but we've installed the pump some three weeks ago, and we have not been able to get it run. I've had my men do all that they know how. So that's where we are with that. I just wanted to update you uh, so that you didn't think I was lying to you. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, oftentimes I got called on the gate is not working. Uh, just as this past weekend I got a call that 27 gate was not opening. I dispatched Isaac and, and the reason I'm telling you that is each time I call Isaac to come here or somebody else except me, I got to pay them two hours minimum. Now, not that that's a big deal, but I also don't want to spend money that I don't have to. Even though it's not my money, I like to treat it as, it as if it was mine. So if I don't have to pay somebody two hours to come here and work, I don't want to. Uh, so this weekend I got a call, and not only this weekend, I've got it before, but I've never talked about it before, but this weekend I got a call that the... 27 gate was not working. Getting there, there was nothing wrong with it. What had happened, I think, is somebody had punched the wrong code like three times. And I want you to know that information too. If you punch the wrong code on that keypad three times, the gate locked out on you. It will not take no command from anything until it sits for a little bit and it will resume normal operation. If you didn't know that, I just want you to know that. And that not, might not necessarily be you, but some friend or some associate of a resident that used to have the code two months ago before it was changed, now it changed. They think the same code worked. They'll come punch it three times. It locks out anything. It locks out everything. So the gate will be locked out, will not take no command for about three minutes. And that's what had happened this weekend. So I just wanted you to know that. Uh, number three. Oftentimes, as you all know, and I think everybody here is fully aware that contractors' hours 
to commence work or begin any work in the community, not Tanglewood, not Tanglewood employee, but contractors. The hours, starting hours is 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, I've got a report that roofers, a roofing company is here at 7.30 working on roofs. Now, of course, it's very important we got all the roofs uh, repair here, but I'm not going to tolerate 7.30. I'm going to add to that. We got an email uh, regarding the same situation here with no address and take a uh, look into that. And I'm going to say something else in reference to the same scenario. We got an email with no address. So if you're going to report some to us, we'd like you to identify where we need to go and address the situation. So you may have forgotten, but please, when you're reporting some, and, and it's, it has happened before, this red car nearly run me over. Uh, who is it? Well, I don't know. We've got that too. So when you're going to report something, if you would please, try to get as much information as possible so we can follow up. Because if you don't give us something to follow up on, we can't. So just bear that in mind. Um, okay. Uh, the last but not least. As you uh, folks have noticed, we have not had no arm, barrier arm on the exit arm on the Schumacher exit uh, gate. Now, first, those arms are supposed to be here Wednesday, if not Thursday of this week. The reason they're not there, however, we run into a glitch. Uh, too much information than you want to know, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> One arm costs $255. And they're charging $300 to deliver it for one. Okay? So we had to pull our resources together to order five at one time. The freight's the same as one as it is five or ten. Uh, but nevertheless, we have a little delay on delivery because it has to be delivered by a semi-tractor uh, trailer. So that's where we are with that because I know sometimes, even though you don't say nothing, it, it rolls uh, in your mind why in the age that we have not have an uh, arm in this million dollars operation for two weeks. So there's the reason. And, and that's important, I think, because you need to know. If you don't know, you think the wrong thing. Uh, with that, I want to wish, uh, wish everybody a safe return home and have a wonderful summer. And then uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you.